Hello News Seekers, this is David Chang reporting from GDC 2012. Today I'm here with Kenneth Anderson of Ritomoto and they're showing their game Heroes and Generals. Um, if you could tell us a little bit about uh, the game maybe? Uh, sure. Um, Heroes and Generals is a uh, free-to-play massive online first-person shooter uh, with a uh, strategic multiplayer campaign on top of it. Um, you can choose to play uh, as a hero and uh, join in a first-person shooter experience, or you can join as a general and play a uh, strategic part of uh, Heroes and Generals. So it's going to be strategic and shooter-based. Can you tell us a little bit more in depth about the strategy aspect of like what it might involve, hopefully? Sure. Um, the generals controls a number of assault teams, and these assault teams could be infantry teams, it could be tanks, it could be uh, fighter squadrons, and uh, the resources of these assault teams are used uh, in the first-person missions. You see, when two assault teams meet each other uh, uh -huh. on the battlefield, a first-person mission is spawned using the resources of these assault teams. So you're telling us that there would be a command structure in the game and that you're hoping to keep it pretty democratic. Can you tell us a little bit about how that will play out in the strategy aspect of the game? Yeah. Well, um, the entire game is uh, entirely run by the community. It is all player versus player. Um, all the generals uh, decide where and when to uh, attack, and um, they control all the resources. If you're a general and you lose some men uh, in your assault team uh, during a battle, uh, you, want some you want some reinforcement. And this reinforcement arrives from headquarters. But um, if you're too far from headquarters, it would be better to have a reserve unit uh, close to the front line. So as a general, you choose which uh, reserve unit you wish to uh, get uh, supplied from, and that reserve unit uh, is handled by a superior officer. So you choose which officer should be your superior officer, and they choose their superior officer is all the way to, through to uh, high command. And high command managers uh, are in charge of all the resources of the faction you uh, fight for. So, in the game you're going to have, uh, obviously it's strategy part, it's only the top level part of it. On the lower part, this is at core a, a FPS game. Can you tell us a little bit about like how FPS gameplay will be, uh, deployments, that kind of stuff? Yeah. Well, the, the shooter part of the game is a full-blown uh, AAA game uh, with high-quality graphics. Uh, we, do, we both have a DirectX 9 and a DirectX 11 render, so we are capable of running low-spec and high-spec computers. and. Um, you're able to spawn as infantry, as tanks, uh, in uh, tank commander and tank crew. You can uh, spawn in uh, APCs, we have uh, half tracks. Uh, you can spawn in uh, airplanes and you can even ride a bike. So if you have airplanes, does that mean you can uh, do airdrops and stuff out of the airplanes as well? Yeah. For instance, if you are, um, if uh, one of your friends are in a, in a mission uh, where two infantry are uh, fighting each other, then uh, you can call your generals for reinforcements and the generals can uh, deploy an uh, assault team with uh, airplanes and then uh, the guys on the ground can uh, now also choose to spawn as airplanes so you can uh, do bomb runs and you can uh, mm -hmm. uh, also shoot uh, with, uh, with machine gun and you can do, you can do dog fights in the air as well. Okay, so you were saying, um, you are talking about assault teams and deployments and stuff and it sounds like there's separate classes involved with them. Can you explain a little bit about how of how many different classes there will be available between and for the first person aspect. Yeah. Um, well, as such, as such, it's not classes. Uh, instead, it's uh, you, you. You have a character, and you buy a uh, character pack, which consists of some weapons and some equipment. Mm -hmm. And when you equip this, these things, then you are able to spawn as, for instance, a tank commander. Mm -hmm. But. Um, uh, tank commanders, they can't have machine guns, so you need to have the the, uh, the assets which meets the requirements of a tank commander. So it's it's not even a class-based system or anything like that, it's just sh solely based on so what equipment you're wearing at the moment? Is yeah, so, so you can say it is class-like, but instead of having a, cha a class that you uh, go with, you, um, you need to meet the terms of a certain spawn type in order to spawn like that. Okay. 
Okay. So you guys just announced last week that you're going free to play. Uh, can you tell us a bit about what structure you plan on using for your free to play system and possibly about your monetization of your game? Our free to play model hasn't been uh, finalized yet, uh, but we have the, uh, the, the overall structure in place. Uh -huh. um, first of all, uh, it's important for us to, to, to tell that we wish to create a fair and balanced uh, free to play game. Um, we have two aspects of the free to play game, uh, or the free to play mechanics. Uh, one is the character progression and the character modification uh -huh. and weapon modifications, and the other is the assault team based uh, modification and progression. So you can either choose to improve something uh, of your of your own your own character, mm -hmm. or you can also choose to improve your assault team. And if you do that, then all the guys um, connected to that assault team, spawning in that assault team, will get the benefits of your uh, of of your improvements. Okay. So here's in general is obviously while it's FPS, it's also a strategy game. It's kind of in a unique position. Uh, do you guys have a classification for this type of game, or like, what are you guys thinking about calling it, or <laughs> for the gameplay? We, we would like, we would actually like to 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 to, to have people uh, give us some good uh, good suggestions because um, it's not an MMO FPS in the sense that you can just start walking from London to Berlin in the shooter. Uh -huh. Instead, it's uh, the strategy the strategy part has some action bubbles, so to speak. Um, so I guess the closest thing we, we, we come is a massive online first-person shooter with a strategic campaign management layer. It's a little bit long-winded, but yeah, I'll know. take it. <laughs> so you were saying that you plan on having a lot of community involvement in this game, and like a large part, you know, you're taking uh, community suggestions as you're developing the game. Can you tell us a little bit about that involvement? Um, yeah, of course. Um, Previously, in the other games that uh, that uh, the Resmosa team has made, um, we we haven't had that much user interaction. It's been a, we've designed a game that, that we thought were fun, and then we put it out to the to to, to the players. And then after that, uh, some players came and said, "Hey, the controls are bad. Uh, I don't like this. I like this better." Mm -hmm. so, so for us, uh, we thought this as a unique opportunity to to open up uh, the development. Uh, showing the game at a quite early stage, uh -huh. getting uh, input from the from the community, listening to what the community really wants before it's too late to change anything. Uh -huh. One example is that uh, we are adding two more tanks to the game, and we asked the community uh, which tanks they liked, and they gave us some response, and uh, and we took their advice and uh, chose the tanks that they, that they wanted. Okay. So, do you have any timelines on when we can expect any? Uh, any betas or any of that sort of stuff out from uh, the company? Um, we don't have an exact timeline right now. Uh, we're in closed alpha and uh, mm -hmm. wish the game to be uh, solid and uh, stable before we proceed to, uh, to, to getting into a, an open beta. But we expect to go into open beta within the next few months. Okay, thank you very much.